Imagine taking a Reddit community with its unique personality traits, inside jokes, posting schedule, and creating AI versions of every single user. In theory, could you simulate that community? Well, in this video, we're gonna do exactly that because I'm gonna break down Oasis. So in this video, I wanna do three things. I wanna break down Oasis on a conceptual level. After that, I wanna go over the code. And then after we understand the code, I'm gonna build on top of it. What I actually wanna do is simulate a League of Legends Reddit community. Okay, so what is Oasis? Very simply, it is an open source social media simulator. And basically how this works is they get many LLM based agents up to a million and they put them inside real lifelike social media environments. So all these LLM based agents, they've got up to 21 actions. So they can like, they can comment, they can share, they can do everything that you can inside of this fake simulation. And the actual simulation itself has integrated recommendation systems. Basically what this means is the exact same ways you would see posts would happen in the simulation. So for example, if you were to like something to do with me on the Giorgio, it's going to show you more content like that. If you're going to dislike something towards me, it's going to show you less content like that. So it's highly realistic to real social media. So not only do the agents have the same actions as, um, as you, but they get recommended content the same way. And to prove this works, they actually have some great case studies in the paper. Another one they looked into was crowd influence. The one I wanna show quickly is group polarization. So they actually use it to show how some opinions can become more extreme over time inside the simulation. Because obviously in real life, this could happen over days, uh, weeks, years, etc. With inside this agent simulation, they can track this pretty well, but then they can speed it up. So what would have taken years, we can track and simulate in seconds. Now we kind of have a basic understanding of uh, how it works. Let's go over the code. So you're gonna to go to GitHub slash AI slash Oasis, and then you're gonna clone the repo, activate the virtual environment, and add your API key. It's pretty simple to get set up. So as you can see in the video slash paper, there are a few kind of pre-built examples where they've got Reddit simulations, uh, X or Twitter simulations, and yeah, these kind of more scientifically things, which you can run and you can sort of test how they got those results. Um, I'm gonna start with probably the easier one uh, to get set up, which is the Reddit simulation. And to go into that, so we're just gonna go to um, Reddit underscore simulation underscore a GPT dot PY. And as you can see here, it's got all the sort of parameters for how it's gonna run. So we can look at the clock factor, the uh, uh, number of time steps, which is probably more of an important thing. So this is like how much imaginary time happened in the simulation. So if we've got quite a low number like four, it's gonna be quite a short simulation of social media. But if it's a number like 20, the act of showing agents new posts again and again, it's gonna get a lot larger. Um, yeah, and there's just there's just a few other parameters which I haven't really played around with as much, but I'm sure we're going to do that in the future. Okay, so for the Reddit simulation, there's kind of two types of data we need to worry about. One is called the counterfactual data, which is more or less the posts we're going to send to our um, agents. So these posts won't be generated. The posts that are going to be generated and the interactions that are going to be generated are the comments, the upvotes, the downvotes, the the sort of interactions the agents are going to have with this post. Okay, so for this data set, we're going to kind of have this as a baseline. So we're going to have a ton of different posts, which are really obviously false. So then we can see how well the agents interact with these posts. And basically, when you first load Oasis up, you're going to get these geopolitical posts, which I'm not actually sure are true or false, because I don't know who this is. I'm sorry for anyone that's into jazz. And same as this, I don't know anything about Hungarian film directors. So for my use case, we're going to use facts about League of Legends. Uh, but we'll go over the sort of customization aspect after we go through the different data and files for Oasis. So the second part of the data is the user data. So this is the data that Oasis is going to use to create new agents. So as you can see here, we only have 36 examples, but Oasis can spin up to 1 million agents. So it's going to base it on these and one of the file, which I'll go over in a second. But as you can see, it's got their real name, their username, their bio, persona, age, gender, uh, MIT 
TI, country, profession, interested topics. I think this is really interesting for the recommendation system. So as you can see here, it's related to the topics I said before, kind of like economic, business, and stuff like that. 36 of them in JSON format. And I think this kind of interacts with the next file, which is the other important one, which is the user generator. And basically, as you can see here, from what's been kind of defined, semi-randomized from these sort of uh, ratios, then from here, it gives it some sort of available topic or, or um, interest based on that. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, without going too in-depth, like we can do a more in-depth video another time, maybe more on the X one. Because as you can see here, it's got a few more parameters dependent on which social media you're trying to simulate. So this one's like number of agents up to a million, but let's keep it super simple with the Reddit one. So with all of that in mind, let's test the base version and see how well it runs. So I'm going to use this command down, uh, down here. It's in there, readme. Once you run it, you get three logs. So you kind of get a log of all the actions the agents took. So as you see here, you've got action signing up, the different agents, um, action create posts. So you see the posts have been created. And down here, you get the other actions such as upvoting and commenting. And basically, as you can see here, there is another log. I'm not entirely sure which the different ones do, but when I go to visualize it, which I'll show you later, um, I just input all the different logs into Claude and it builds a front end for them. So I'm not gonna go that too much. So now we sort of understand how the base straight out of the box version of Oasis works. Let's see how we can customize it. And just a quick interruption, I'm actually creating a database of 50 plus high performing SaaS content pieces. Get it down below. Okay, after seeing that, yep, yeah, it looks very cool. The straight out of the box version, very interesting, but we wanna customize it for our own use case. We wanna be able to upload a Reddit community and simulate it. So with that in mind, I think we need two different workflows. We need a custom simulation workflow to take data from Reddit and customize all those files we talked about before. And then after that, this part isn't really needed, but I think it helps me sort of understand how well it works. We need a simulation visualization. So we're actually gonna sort of see, okay, how would this look inside of the Reddit UI? Okay, so let's start with the custom simulation workflow. So as I said before, we're gonna simulate a League of Legends community. So I'm gonna start with the user me, who's gonna upload the League of Legends community link. I'm gonna send that to Appify, where I'm gonna use a Appify Reddit scraper to scrape posts from that community. Okay, for this example, I'm probably only gonna scrape 100 because I just wanna test how it works. Okay, from that data, we're gonna need to create two different uh, data files, which we spoke about before. We're gonna need uh, persona data, and post data. So I've actually created some prompts and automations that take that data and they do this. After that, we're gonna take these outputs, we're gonna run it for another LLM to customize that user generator file because a lot of the interests there, they're not to do with League of Legends, they're to do with business and politics. It's probably not gonna make that much sense putting it in with the League of Legends community. After that, we run Oasis and then we get the logs. And the second part of the simulation is once Oasis uh, generates those simulation logs, we're gonna clean up the data with an agent. I built some similar workflow with agents working with large amount of data in my Gemini video, which you can watch up here now. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the agent to clean it. And then once the, the data is cleaned, I'm gonna put this prompt into Claude, which is gonna basically build out some sort of React UI, kind of like this to make it like Reddit. So let's start with the Appify scraper. So the first step, we go to appify.store, then we type in Reddit, then we're going to look through the scrapers. We're going to click on this one, see it says $45 a month, click away, go to this one because it's done on results. Um, so as you can see here, I've tested it with League of Legends. Let's do a quick search to see how the data comes. Um, let's try it with five. Perfect, so as you can see here, it gets the data. So to actually automate this a little bit more and get it into code, I'm going to load it up with cursor well, I've got my reddit.py file. I'm gonna add that actor's information here. So I'm gonna put the run input, which are all these things. I'm gonna go to the actor on Appify. I'm gonna go to here JSON so I can see, okay, what does it need to, uh, to run? Copy and paste it, add it into the run input here. Then we, again, we can customize it how I want. So before it said 100. 
I have some sort of Python here that prints the results, so it's easier for me to get. And then I can just do copy path Python. Okay. And then we're gonna run it. And basically when you run it successfully, it's gonna look something like this. So as you can see, I've got all the different results here of the most toxic comments you can find. And basically the cool thing about doing a League of Legends community is you can easily tell if it's worked. If the agents aren't being really horrible, toxic, negative about every single post, it hasn't simulated the community very well. So basically now we have this data, I'm gonna build the persona data. And basically for this, I'm gonna to go to my AI agent database. I keep a lot of different system prompts and sort of ideas for agents in here. Uh, user persona generator. So basically I'm putting in the schema I need for the personas, which you saw before, real name, username, bio, persona, etc. Okay, and basically I'm gonna tell it to generate 20 personas. I did try 36 and it didn't work very well. So I think 20 is a good middle ground. So from here, I created a single agent using the camel framework. So I defined the Reddit data, I added it here. I used the um, system message I said before, so I'm using the model GPT-4.0 and then I add my uh, user message as the um, Reddit data and then basically after that I just fetch the Reddit underscore data and then you're going to put the output of that and paste it into here. So as you can see here, it's a lot more realistic to League of Legends users. So let's just look at one of them. So we have Marcus Chen. Uh, username pro uh, mid laner 98 uh, bio competitive amateur player uh, analytical mindset strategic gaming enthusiast it is a little bit ai uh, we could work on that but it is better uh, persona a dedicated league player since season four who primarily focuses on mid lane mechanics and macro play uh, frequently discusses professional matches and meta cha changes often providing in-depth analysis of team compositions and strategies particularly interested in korean and chinese pro scenes and yeah, uh, software developer, interests, uh, pro scene, mid lane meta, champion meta, game analytics. And yeah, like we go through a few of them, but it's pretty good. Like we have a good range of league players. Now we have this step done. I'm gonna go to the post data. And basically for this, I'm just gonna take the original Oasis counterfactual data set. I'm gonna paste it into here. I'm gonna take the app by actor. So basically I just said, hey, based on the schema of the persona data set, can you create some posts based on what kind of things people are talking about in my scraped Reddit data set? And basically on the second time around, I just said, create me 20 posts exactly like this. So as you can see here, generating some sort of posts. Um, this is the second time I'm doing it because I couldn't find the way I did it the first time. But then once you have this, you're going to take it again to Claude to do something else. And basically, as I said before, we want all these posts to be false so we can see if the agents can actually pick up on false posts or react the way we want them to react. So I was going to use Claude, but it gave me some sort of moral high ground about how it can't create false posts. So I said, look, change, uh, change it so every post in this data set is false. Um, I apologize, but I should not assist in blah, 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 blah. Okay, and then Claude told me no, so I just went to check GPT, and I just said to it, hey, I need some sort of things for the good of humanity to do some AI research, paste in the things, say, make them all false, and then that worked. And basically what I thought was really interesting about this is I asked GPT, hey, what are some League of Legends statements that are really, really false? It said, Tyler One is completely untalented at League of Legends. It said low ELO players only stuck because of their teammates and attitude doesn't matter. GG easy is the most respectful way to end the game. Obviously, we're gonna see how well this works because these are a lot of false statements. So basically once we have this, we just copy it, put it in the counterfactual data set here. And then the last step of this is we're taking both of these and we're gonna edit the user file. So generator. And basically what we're going to do here is we're going to copy it we're going to copy the user data paste it in here i'm going to go to the user gen uh, generator i'm going to copy the available topics and again i could probably customize this a lot better to make it more accurate but 
I've tested this and it works pretty well with just this. We, we can always improve it later. So, um, change these topics to be more like the data set host schedule. And basically, I just frantically type into Claude, it's going to get it right. So, as you see, it's got some League of Legends topics. Very cool, very nice. Cool, so that is pretty much the custom simulation done. So we're gonna see how um, how that runs. And yes, before I run this, I wanna say yes, this seems like it probably would take a lot of OpenAI credit, but it actually isn't too bad. It's a lot le less than what you think. Let's run it with that command we said before. So as you can see here, it's generating the simulation and it's running. Okay, so I go to the log. So what is the time now? So it is these three logs. Okay, so now we actually have the early logs. We are going to go to here. And because I just wanted to test it, I actually put the uh, time steps on pr a pretty small amount. So we can just throw all of this data into Claude. We don't really need to clean it, but maybe uh, next time I'll build the cleaning agent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Claude add a new chat and this part probably could be be automated but for now let's do it pretty manually um no this is oasis 2 let's do oasis 3. so i'm going to paste all three logs into claude and then i'm going to paste this prompt that i created which you can find in the description but basically it just says i'm running a simulation of reddit communities with agents i need a visualization of the top five posts with the most interactions designed to resemble reddit's user interface in dark mode um, and basically I, put, I did put top five uh, just because anything above that it did crash a bit ideally i'll put all the posts in but we'll approach that another time and then these are the main things i want to look at uh, to look at um, so yeah, over school engagement uh, upvotes dark mode because everyone that uses reddit probably uses dark mode um and yeah I, I just paste it as you can see here we've got our reddit simulation so the first post is new jungle changes ruin the game for beginners it's got one down vote i agree the new jungle changes have made it more difficult for beginners to adapt um etc etc uh pro games are non-stop action and always exciting jungle def gg agrees pro games are always filling uh, Absolutely by Skin Collector, the level of coordination and strategy in pro games is not unmatched. Um, Arcane is is the worst gaming show ever made, downvoted too. I think this is realistic. I think people would downvote this. Uh, support is the most. I, I feel this. I feel like in a real League of Legends community, this would be downvoted more. Um, I think overall the simulation is good. Obviously, it can be improved. I feel like some of the messaging doesn't sound. As realistic to, to how they can talk but we can work on that and make it a lot better of course it can be improved but i'm really excited to see the next steps of this because i know the camel team are working very hard on it if there's if there's any questions suggestions or anything else you'd like me to cover such as the x simulation put it in the comments i'm going to reply to every single one